Alright, what is up everybody? My name is Falcon HD, also known as Falcon, and also known as Falcon of Kings. Yes, this is my new channel actually, and if, before I get started with this video, if you could go subscribe to that, that'd be immensely helpful. Yeah, so just go, go subscribe to Falcon HD, not trying to like, I don't know, advertise, even though I kind of am, but whatever. So yes, it has been three months since I last uploaded something of this. I think three months, something crazy like that. And yeah, between HDPVR breaking, switching channels, going on hiatus, everything in between. Getting the Wii U, not being able to get component cables for the Wii U, and then realizing the Wii U can't play GameCube games. Ooh, it's been hell. But anyway, I am back, and I'm g delivering you guys episode 3 of Paper Mario's House Near Door. In the last episode, if you can actually remember back to that long, we figured out on our ancient map that we had to go find, uh... No, but... Damn it, what the... <laughs> we had to go find the first crystal star in Petal Meadows. And now, yeah, it showed us to, uh, where we should go, and it said we should go to Petal Meadows. In this episode, we're going to be going to Petal Meadows, and we're hopefully going to be getting another crystal star. Why is there a beer bottle behind that mess? I just completely... I'm just so good at this game, obviously. But yeah, I actually had to restart my game because my... I, I lost my memory card... God damn, a lot of stuff has happened, but I lost my memory card, so yeah, my, um, game is gonna be... If anything is different, like, if I got an extra star piece off-screen or something like that, or I got more coins, I have less star points or more star points, please, it doesn't make a difference to the gameplay. No, I do not want to hear your stupid tattling, <laughs> whatever you s should call it. Alright, and also... We got the paper airplane ability, so if you go in one of these panels, you can fly like an eagle and soar like a dove. But actually, I want to fight this guy. Or I could just swing my hammer the complete wrong way and completely miss the command. Beautiful. So yes. Let us... We're actually going to be basically starting the game in this episode. The... Wow, this is terrible. The only thing I can do is tattle. So basically, I guess I'll show this off. Tattling... Uh, if you get it right, you have to just basically get the target in the uh, little thing to get the action command. It gives you maximum HP and attack and defense. The only reason I would ever use this is if you're on a boss fight and you don't know, like, what to, how to beat it. And also, if you tattle, it shows its HP for the remainder of- for any time you, you fight those enemies. But anyway, yes, yeah, done with that. Six star points! Hell yeah! You can actually get a badge that shows enemies HP, so it kind of gets useless later on. But it's in exchange for star points, and I really don't like using my star points to buy badges, because then you get confused. There is a way to, like, you get confused on how many you have. So Mario, the little pervert that he is... Here, look at Tentacle! Let's let's hit it with my hammer! Oh, boop, that hurt! And then he's like, oh, wait, it's not Peach's Tentacle, I can't hit it with hammers. I mean, what? But anyway... Whoa! What up, blooper? Man, you are very angry, and you are hanging from the ceiling! Sir, where are you hanging from? Bloop, bloop, bloop! Some, with some serious moxie, that's who. It says moxie. Bloop, 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 bloop! Would you look at that? It's some saucy mustached guy. Bloop, 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 bloop! He's in for a world of hurt. Oh, I love this. Wow, those tentacles look amazingly freaky when they're in paper. Bloop, 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 bloop! bloop. I'll give him a taste of the old tentacle trample. Hey Mario, you remember what Professor Frankly told us, right? We can press Y to change our attack order. Oh my god, I've completely forgotten the voices I use. So yeah, you can't actually attack the blooper yet, you have to attack the tentacles. Which flail really creepily when you hit them. Oh god. Well yeah, that one's done. It's actually kind of hard to get the action commands, because it's kind of random, but yeah. Let's kill his other tentacle, and then the big blue, or blooper, will be revealed. Yeah, he falls onto the ground, because he realizes that his tentacles, which aren't even connected to the ceiling, he can't hang from the ceiling, so yeah. Let's just wail at him as much as we can. And it only took about three seconds before he realized, wait, I can grow them back. Even though he doesn't grow them back yet. I completely forget this boss and I'm sorry. Ugh. It's been such a long time since I've played this game. And now he, like, releases his... pee on you. I mean, um... Yeah, think of that way. You're like, oh, we might actually get something! Oh. Okay, then. 
I never win that. You'll find this will be. If I win that, I'll be amazed. But you beat the very difficult boss fight, and you get 20 star points for doing so. And Mario, tip your hat to him. Yet he's still alive, even though we just exploded. Bla bloop! Oh, that's pretty cool, because, you know, fuck physics. Um. Oh, I didn't think I could make that. Oh, <laughs> Goombella just died! Jeez. Morbid much. But anyway, now we are at the end of the road, and there is this pipe here. And this pipe is going to take us to. Please transition go. Chapter 1. God, this text goes slowly. Castle and Dragon. Man, that's a very blunt title. I wonder what we're actually going to be doing this chapter. Maybe encountering a castle and dragon? It's just me, but... What? This place is like the most peaceful place ever. How could it have a castle and a dragon? Okay. Okay, let's look around a couple times. Well, here we are. The Petal Meadows are folks say Crystal Star Highs. Here we go, Mario! The start of our adventure this is going to be completely awesome. Yes, it is. Also, before we start... BAM! Star piece. If you hit that tree with your hammer. Yeah, you can get, like, coins and stuff. Oh, I don't even have a memory card in. Ooh, mushroom. Yeah, you can get coins and items and stuff if you, hit, if you hit the trees and bushes and stuff with your hammer. What is this weird rock formation? I won't do Whoa! Jesus Christ, that is huge. Whoa, what is that? Oh my, that's a... Wow, look. What? <laughs> well, that answers two of the questions about this chapter. A dragon and a castle. Oh, God. Totally incredible. Why? I know, that's not incredible. Did you see the name of this chapter? You're gonna have to go fight that thing, probably. Oh, I hope not. Maybe that's not foreshadowing, but anyway. Look at these weird-ass rocks. I don't know, there'll probably be something in the future, but we can't even get there now. That is in the background. You know, it's separated with the bottomless pit and the hills. Can I hit this thing? <laughs> no, you can't, apparently. But anyway, let's just continue along the Petal Meadows and hopefully forget that happened. But anyway... Oh, God! Uh-uh, son! Yeah, let's just strike first. I I tend in this game to fight all the enemies, because even though this game isn't that hard, per se, like, hard to actually beat, it, um... It has some difficult boss fights, in my opinion. And yes! Give me the double stylish. Oh, wow, I actually got two star thing, so... 69 star points! Oh, I just had to do that. <laughs> and if you hit the pink little item boxes, they give you badges. You get a close call badge. This is actually very useful. If you're doing... I might as well equip it, because, you know, why not? But it's very useful because there's a strategy in the game. Or the main strategy for the Pit of 100 Trials. Oh, I bet you didn't know that was in this game, but... Or the Pit of 100 Trials. Is a strategy. Ooh, a close call partner badge, I think that is. Maybe he'll drop it. Drop the big drop the badge, bro. Okay, I don't know. There's like a twenty percent chance of him dropping a badge, I don't know. But yeah, that was a pretty easy fight actually. And yeah, basically I won't explain the strategy yet. I might at the end of the game, but yeah, just keep that in mind. You wanna collect all the close call badges that you can. If you want to beat the uh, bit of a hundred trials very easily. Anyway, let us just... Oh man, he has two friggin... You know what? Oh wait, yeah, I got the first strike, so I can just take this guy out easily. I thought I was gonna have to headbonk him with... Goombella and just completely... Hit my hat on the spikes. She's actually wearing a hat, so... And Mario is wearing a hat! So couldn't she just headbonk him? Well, then again, the spike would kind of... Impale the hat. Anyway, let's... Ooh, a coin block. Wow, that's kind of out of place in a Paper Mario game, but yeah. Let us go over here. And I believe... No, never mind. Oh, Mario, if you ever find yourself, like, wondering what to do, just press X and you... I will never do that, but thank you for the... I guess not really advice, but thank you for the... Did I actually hit him? I didn't even mean to, but... Man, I cannot talk today. Thank you for the, um... Hint. I do not know how to speak English, clearly, because that was the derpiest thing I've ever done. But yeah, let's jump over all the Goombas. 
and kill the Paragoomba. I think that's what it's called. Uh, I would use Tattle on everything, like, just to give you a bio, but I could do my- I'll have my own Tattle log, the Falcon log. Spiny Goombas. Goombas with a spike. Don't jump on them. Use your hammer. HP is 2. Attack is 2. Defense is 0. Oh, bam. I am just a complete god at giving you guys information, obviously. You got 13 star points. Sick. Alright, and look at these very obvious two bushes darker, like, PRESS ME! That's what it could practically be saying. And yeah, there was no way of getting across, but we just opened a pipe, so we're gonna go through that. Ooh, look at the blue button that's very hidden. I wonder if we're going to have to press that. Yeah, this game, <laughs> it has very difficult puzzles, as you can see. So yeah, you can use pipes and go into the background, which I, which I actually think is amazingly cool. And hitting that button creates the most detailed bridge ever for, like, a meadow. But yeah, if you keep running along this way, jumping makes you go faster, you get a star piece. It's not that hidden, because you usually... What I usually do is I forget about it, and then go into the foreground, then I see it in the background, and I'm like, oh, and then I have to go all the way back. But anyway, let us go across the bridge over in ri over the river and through the woods to the dragon and castle we go. Mystery, I hate that item, because it always is something crappy. But yeah, hit that and get a fire flower does five damage. Fire flower is always useful for early in the game. So you know, if you if you need to use like if there's a spiky goomba or something and you can't attack it, you can just use fire flower. But now we're in Petalburg City, where Norman lives, and it's also the first I mean, no, you're in the completely non ripped off Petalburg in the Petalburg. I cannot talk today. But hmm, where are you, you ask? Why this is Petalburg. Sorry, but it's been kind of a long time we've had visitors here. We're kind of remote. And you have a friggin' dragon and a castle. Yes, yeah, why else? Why would you want to live here? Oh, it didn't help tourism. Oh, I thought it'd be a gem for tourism, you know. Look at the dragon. Five dollars, he'll eat you. Ten dollars, he'll scald you alive. Ooh, Hooktail. Hmm, that's a... S Ooh, it's a scary name. Pfft. Yeah, you tell him, Goombella. So anyway, Green Boots, have you ever heard of these things called Crystal Stars? We're on a quest for them. It's very important. And it's pretty important. Also, have you seen Princess Peach? Because, you know, that kind of matters. I want to speak to the mayor, though. He's old. Really, really old. Okay. He knows all kinds of stuff we don't. Koopas of his age are, um, really smart. Ooh, this is great. Lives in the pink house? Jeez, it's like my cabin when I was six. In sleepaway camp. It sounds totally hideous, but it should be easy to find. Exactly what I was thinking, Goobella. Exactly what I was thinking. Uh, anyway. I could just fall into the water and get eaten by a chain chomp. That's pretty cute, too. Oh, and I could do it again. You know, platforming in this game, in an RPG. I swear to God, I'm not doing this on freaking purpose. Um, okay, time to actually... Okay, Ooh, that was tough. But remember this guy? Bubble or whatever his name is. I'm pretty sure he was in the first game. I don't know. I wasn't a big fan of Paper Mario 1. But check out this small little Goomba man. Hey, what's up? I gotta say, I'm really hooked on playing GBA games lately. There's one game that just absolutely rules. It's called Fire Emblem. It just rocks my socks. All right. Totally not product placement, but, you know. Yes, I've actually never played Fire Emblem, fun fact. And who are you? Hut, I am General White. I'm a bob -omb and I've lost hopes and dreams. I live in solitude always. I must apologize that I ask you and just leave me alone. Wow. Jeez, way to be depressed. Just look at life in a positive note. Why do, I why do I have a feeling you're going to be a very annoying s part of the game later on? That's just me, though. This world is very nice. Clear water, clean air. Absolutely delicious. Ooh, that's kind of weird, but... But this foul hook tail, it makes everyone forget their fortunes. How sad. Yes. Oh, God! I just walked right into that. There was no excuse. I have six friggin' life left. Boy, the mayor's been so forgetful lately. Yeah, because he's really, really old, apparently. Ooh, check out the girl, Koopa. Well, hello there. My name is Koopy Koo. It's nice to meet you. Oh my gosh! That hat, those overalls, and that magnificent mustache. You're Mario, aren't you? Yeah, I do get my way with the ladies. Yeah, I am pretty strong, you know. If you're here, that means you're gonna challenge the monsters. Like, whoa, whoa! Let's not jump to conclusions. I know I'm strong and handsome, but... I don't want to challenge dragons. I mean, it's a little dangerous. Oh, if only Koops were his... Who is this Koops? 
<laughs> well, he sounds like a pussy, but anyway. Here is the hideous pink house that we so apparently have to go in. Oh, you are a very old Koopa. <laughs> oh my god. Was there someone there? Who is it? Who? What do you want from me? I know you're thieves. How do you here to rob a defenseless old Koopa? Despicable. Well, no, we're not thieves, bro. Go on, do what you will, but as you can plainly see, there's nothing to steal here. Oh, I guess I have a little money. Take it, you fiends, and take my antique shell, too. No, we don't want your friggin' shell. Just leave the photos and me and the missus. Can't do without those memories. What? Not- What? Not thieves, you say? Well, what's your story, then? Oh, wait, you folks looking for crystal stars? Yeah, we just want to steal those, not your money. Well, why don't you pipe up before, you idiot? We're just wasting time here. The crystal stars you say you're hunting. Um, wait. What did I hear about those things again? Aha, got it. Hooktails. Hooktails what? Got what you're looking for. No, why do people keep mentioning the dragon when not fighting the freaking dragon? It's this enormous ornery dragon. eats folks, they say. You know Hooktail, right? Yeah, I may have heard the name. No, not of course. Well, this Hooktail's brutal fly-by snackings have all of us on pins and needles. Then why do you want me to go fight it? This is suicide. So are you reckless fools? I mean, yes, no, we're not. Yes, hold on. It does sound promising. What? No! No, 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 no. Why, if you can rid of the hooktail, we'll shower you with... Uh, it makes it a little better, but still! It's just a suicide. You accept no reward? Oh, yeah. Of course I won't, yeah. What an uns... Wait. No, that I completely mixed up my words there, Mario. Yep, a good egg. Now, what did you say what your name is? Falcon, actually. No, no, what? That, where'd you get Murphy? It's not even, oh, I hate this game. <laughs> if you're intent on going to Hookdale's castle, find the secret pipe near this village. I don't know where it's at, but I know you need stone keys to use that pipe. Schwank Fortress. Okay, that's, that's a really weird name. Who named it that book? Well then, Murphy, get going. And take care of that hooktail monster. All right, I do not want to do that at all, but you know I kind of said I would, so I'm not gonna be a dick and just not. But anyway, that is actually yeah, that was 18 minutes. That is actually going to be it for this episode. So sorry for the three months thing. So if you enjoyed this episode, subscribe to Legendary Gamers HD. They have some great other games and other directors and whatnot. Yeah, and also. Please, if you like this video, drop by my channel, maybe leave a comment or a like, or even if you like it a lot, and you want to see my videos, oh, I got an email. It's probably someone subscribing to me. No, it's definitely not, because, you know, I don't have any. But anyway, press start, slash so pause, check your menu and your email. Yeah, subscribing would be great, but also, yeah, just do all that good stuff, and stay tuned for another episode of Paper Mario House in Your Door. Man, I've completely forgotten how to do an outro. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.